Hello, beautiful brothers, sisters, twin flames, soul flames, and soul mates. How are you all doing on this beautiful, beautiful day? The sun is out, and it's the in here in England they call it Box Day, and uh, in Europe it's the second day of Christmas time. I hope you all had a wonderful, wonderful time with your family and friends. And that you could uh, celebrate and that you had joy in your life and good conversations. And that the love could flow. That you could feel the love in your heart. That you could feel the energies changing from the mind space to getting at ease and feeling the energy flow in your heart space. Because... That's the real original reason we celebrate. Um, for a lot of people at the moment, they feel a disconnection from the heart space. Um, or disconnected from everything. And that is going to change. That energy is changing. The energy of um, not feeling where to belong not feeling open enough in the heart space and more reacting out of the mind space, out of uh, you heard me, I heard you, now I heard you. Um, and I see that that is a disconnection from the heart. Um, not, not having trust, not having faith um, that everything will be okay. And when you're in a, in a space of feeling that everything will be fine and will be okay. Uh, because the energies that's coming around are transforming us for the highest good for whole humanity. Then um, you know everything will be okay. It's time to release uh, all um, resentment, anger frustration, uh, jealousy, because there's enough for everyone. There is enough for everyone. It could be that um, abandonment issues coming up at this time. So it is really time for you to look at it and to work with that abandonment within yourself. Uh, it could be uh, most of the time it's a childhood issue. It uh, could be when um, you lost your mom or uh, you uh, lost your family or it uh, could be that, um, you know, all kinds of little things that uh, was happening in your, in your lifetime that are coming up to being transformed. And there's a huge, huge light energy coming in that will transform all of this. Well, uh, this said, um, if you want to have a reading from me, um, I can put you on the waiting list. Because at the moment I'm doing no readings. Uh, the readings are closed, but I can put you on the, on the waiting list. So when I'm opening uh, my readings again... You can uh, have the reading. You will be one of the first one will, who will have a reading. And it will not be earlier than the new year. Um, and, and I think it's about around the 15th of January. So if you want a reading and a personal reading, just contact me and I will schedule you in for the half of a January Otherwise, probably um, it would be fully booked till February, just like last year. And um, there, you know, you have to wait longer and longer. So, okay, let's see what the masculine energy is about. Okay. Portals. He is going through some portals and I see he needs to look for the fairy portals. Um, yeah, going into doorways now and letting go of the warrior. 
letting go of the warrior energy every morning um know that 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 when you're going through the, those doorways and you're going through portals, that your solar plexus will get activated every morning at the same time. So huge energies are coming in and it would give you maybe a, an ener a feeling of uncomfortability and saying like, wow, what the heck is going on? I want to get rid of that feeling. But it's it's activating your body, it's activating your meridians, it's activating your light codes, it's activating your portal to get more energy going into your body to um, to heal, um, to have the power within you to do work, because it's time we are doing the work. Um, it's the, the warrior energy that, um, is getting a different kind of, um, energy to work with. Um, it's time to, sorry guys, I'm purging for the masculine here. Uh, it's time to release all of that anger, of that uh, of that ancestral anger, of the uh, and otherwise, if you if 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 you don't know how to do work on it, you know, then do a family constellation or go to someone who can help you with this, because it's it's really important when you're walking through that portal and you walk through the portal. You know, most of the masculines walk through the portals um, to change that, you know, to change that, that energy from uh, the fighting mode, fighting against yourself, fighting against your feelings, uh, fighting against love, fighting against uh, love to come in. All these things is it's, it's in a warrior mode, is in a survival mode that um that you can do it on your own that you can um to be on your own and and all these energies are shifting because we're going to the 222 two, two. and that's the 222 two, two portal in a week's time in a couple of days time and when we're going into that that um uh, that portal it's the portal of union so union trust um you know it's it's like merging start to merge with with everything around you with the light with the light codes make peace with with what's happening to you know that everything will be different know that everything will change and that nothing can stay the same you held on for so many years already uh to something that's not good for you and and most of the masculines know about this they know it that they're holding on to old structures uh to old energies that is not 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 serving them it was it was serving their mind it was serving their ego but it wasn't serving their heart and now they're going into a, a different uh, realm, you know, a realm of unity, realm of going, passing the, the portals, the fairy portals um, and, the, and the elven portals at this time, you know, this elf is saying, you know, she's still carrying her arrows on her back and... Um, and that's what the, the masculine was shielding himself about, you know, closing his heart, uh, afraid of uh, all the arrows that he gets from people around him, not only from, from the surroundings he is in, but also from the workspace, um, you know, uh, interactions with people. You know, uh, release your arrows, throwing it off and knowing that you're always safe. 
when you have the belief that you're safe, you will attract this into your um, energy energy field and um, nothing will happen to you. So uh, it's you're walking through a new portal. You, you totally fool. You know, in a year's time, you will say to yourself, oh my God, I wasted so much time about what I believed, what I knew. There, there's a whole new world opening now for me. So, um, well, I, I would say better later than never, right? But um, yeah, and what, what will the heart space give you? It will give you abundance. The heart space of the masculine is yearning for abundance and fullness of source. And there is enough for everyone and everything will open. So there is no time for jealousy. There is no space for jealousy because there is enough for any, everyone. We are really leaving that old paradigm. We're really leaving that paradigm of uh, we living in lack. We living in shortage. Uh, there isn't enough for me. You know, it's always uh, good enough for other people, but it's never good enough for me. You know, where where I'm I'm always in. I did that's. A, that's a, Thank you, guys. I hear I'm always back online, you know. Uh, everybody else always got the attention. Everybody else always got um, the, the admiration. And I was just sitting there and waiting for, for, for them to come to me. And it's not happening. No, because you they didn't learn you to step up for yourself and get out and get it because that's what you need to learn when you're when you're always by yourself you know um when you're always by yourself and always on your own you need to get out and you need to do it on your own there is no waiting for a brother, sister, uncle, a cousin or whatever to do it for you. You need to do it on your own and you need to get it. You need to get out there and show yourself. So that's what, what will happen for the Divine Masculine now. And that will is will that is activating uh, in the in the solar plexus of you know changing the energy and and combining that energy to to draw him into action um to 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 get in that love space and to to get rid of the fear and to get into the love and saying okay i trust i trust and i'm open and there's enough for everyone I don't have to live in lack anymore. There is enough for me, you know. And um, there are also masculines. They say they, they don't have enough. But there is there's so much difference in abundance how you see it. Some say um, see abundance in, in money. And they say I don't have enough money. But there is so much abundance around them that they don't even see it. You know, even if you look in your house and you see what you're, what's in your house, it's all abundance. You know, if you look outside in nature, all the plants, the trees, the oceans, the fishes, everything, the, the sky, the clouds, the, the birds, it's all abundance. And, and some people just don't see it. And when you're coming from your heart space... Everything will open. Your 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 heart will open. <clears throat> your your chakras opens. Your crown, your third eye, and you feel the celestial heat coming through your body, and that will store itself in your in your solar plexus, where you can take action from. Okay, so that's what's going on in 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 the realm at the moment when you enter that portal you know and that's that's what um it's the it's it's the abundance it's the love it's the it's the source of all 
it's it's the source of all existence so when you're going there then everything will open up for you and and give your gratitude and your honors uh, to it because when you're not grateful for everything that you have you know it will stagnate okay how does the divine masculine see the divine feminine that she is a blue ray being that she has a direct divine expression and that she is a bridge between dimensions and that she is a bridge uh, of connecting people connecting people with their heart source connecting people heart to heart um, making bridges um, uh, going back to source and back and uh, roaming the, the 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 planets roaming the universe um, being in this light and that there is a good expression of um, her inner knowing her her inner being her um, divine light she is guided by the divine light and that divine light uh, is coming from the blue rays uh, the syrian uh, missionaries um, and and she is the bridge between the higher frequencies and the lower frequencies and uh, she is upgrading the lower frequencies and she is um, making sure that everybody gets what they deserve because she is that bridge and he is seeing that <clears throat> okay what's in the divine feminine's mind space ships of light beam up your vibration and open yourself up to your star family because there's the abundance, there's the creation, there is what will happen for you. You know, everything will come towards you when you're going in this higher vibration, <clears throat> higher vibration of love. Okay. So beam up your vibration. And, and most of the time that is happening when the divine feminine is, is, um, is, is with the masculine. You know, it, it. she doesn't have to do anything. She just has to be there. And, you know, the, the vibration is already um, um, changing the vibration uh, around him and within him. So, um, yeah. Open up to your star family. So she's she's opening herself up to the star family. Uh, connecting with it um, uh, maybe she wants some more interaction with the star family that could be possible that she says okay i had some experiences with my light family um but now i want to open myself more up to those vibrations to change myself to get rid of the uh, the, the the depressive and lower uh, thoughts I have in my in, in my head space and uh, those frequencies uh, are changing when I am um, with with my family of light okay what's in her heart space the Ecturians pure white lights DNA healing and sacred geometry it could be that she will see um, uh, more sharper lights. She will me see more light colors. Uh, maybe the frequency of light is even higher and sharper uh, to her eyes. And um, that she gets a DNA uh, strand healing. And it could be that she's moving up to the 12 strength of DNA so um and and want to know more about secret geometry it could be that the secret geometry is showing itself to her more and more and more and starting also to <clears throat> recognize and feel the power and the energies of it okay that will will help her 
to uh, move to uh, to that frequency okay um unlock your gifts that's what she how how does she sees the divine masculine unlock your gifts you have sacred gift you have energy sen uh, senses uh, and pure love is the key you can't open your gifts with anger frustration uh, resentment towards someone you are now in jealousy that is not that's that's not the frequency you can operate from anymore because um the light is not allowing it um it's uh it's about if you're coming from a lower frequency and you stick it and you get stuck in that lower frequency it's even more um oh uh, it's even more common that you get stuck in that energy let's keep it nice they say okay um the sacred gifts the masculine has so much sacred gifts and he has the key, you know, he has the key within himself to open those doors, you know, or um, opening the doors for, for the sacred gifts to come in into his system. Um, more energy senses. Um, uh -huh. Uh, pure love is the key so it could be um hmm sorry guys i need to put down the water my water is boiling here <laughs> yep my waters are boiling hot 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 Okay. Um, yeah, unlock unlock the keys of your of your gifts. So um, the key is within you, and it's the key to joy. It's the key to happiness, and that's what sh what the divine feminine sees about the divine masculine. That he has so many gifts and so many sources he can draw from. Um, but the key is the joy it's 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 you know it could be that yeah hmm <laughs> i hear joy is the key from uh from abram hicks <laughs> joy is the key joy is the key um yeah and there are so many sacred gifts he can use and um there are he's so sensitive you know and he can speak so many languages and so many uh feel so many energies around him that um that's really that's really um necessary and the divine feminine sees him as pure love and uh, there's nothing else than that, you know? There's nothing else than love. And that's the key. That's the key of the Divine Feminine, you know? That's, that's her, her mission. Her mission. To connect as a Blu-ray being, to connect everyone. And um, walk these bridges and, and connect with love. Uh, okay. <clears throat> what is supporting the <clears throat> divine masculine, the crown chakra? Right now, go beyond any attachments and go into divine alignment. So, if the divine masculine is uh, thinking about love with his divine feminine, um, he needs to leave that for a while. Because he needs to detach from attachments first. Um, it could be that he was too attached because the mother wound wasn't healed. Um, and and uh, yearning for the divine feminine is yearning to the mother, is yearning um, 
to to that that nurturing of of the mother and it's now time for him um to to go to the, the divine alignment divine alignment with uh, the higher frequency for um for where the mother is at you know um the star mother mother earth and and really connect with that and and that's uh it's a feeling um that is happening within the, the in the divine masculine that he has the urge he gets that urge to go to to nature he has the urge to to go to that that energy uh, because things are so changing um uh, through these portals and 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 the Christ portal, what what we receiving more light now is being in the divine alignment within yourself between the masculine and the feminine within, and heal them both so they can come together. Um, in 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 the new year, it's it's the year of unity. So it needs time and it needs space. And the heart space is, oh wow. <laughs> I almost see it like the heart space of Avalon. You know, it's the heart space of Avalon. You know, you really need to connect with that light. That, that light of Avalon. That light of um, the source. Oh, I hear um, he neglected the the mother too much. He neglected the mother too much. She's calling him back. Wow. She is calling him back, but she can't deny um, your soul path. You can't deny your soul path. You can't, you need to stop fighting. You know, you need <laughs> you stop fighting it because you already went through that portal of awakening. So you, the warrior needs to stop fighting it and 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 work with her. And you know, you have the right to know. And when you go beyond all attachments, you know everything will 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 get into your heart space. And the knowing is there. You no, know, the knowing is there. Wow, beautiful. How does he see the union with the divine feminine healing? The union with the divine feminine is healing. Gentleness of love, realignment and transformation. <sighs> my gosh healing she is healing him he knows that she is healing him uh on different levels um on on the level of fear of the level of suspicion of the level of um fear um going beyond the fear i hear you know um distrust betrayal dishonesty all of that is be is is being healed so that's what he sees with the connection with the divine feminine it's um her gentleness and her let him realign with himself and uh, with his inner feminine, and that 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 makes the transformation um, of trust, the transformation of healing himself. You know, <clears throat> she is healing him. He, she is, and and he's healing her. It's a, it's a vice versa uh, energy. So that's really really uh, amazing. Okay, what is supporting the Divine Feminine? The source of creation. 
unique expression, the flow of creation and joyfulness. Uh, the light is just pouring through her. There's nothing else than light pouring through her. Um, um, there is this joyfulness. Uh, she knows how to express herself, uh, connecting with the source. Um, there is no, no lower frequency in her, in her vibration anymore. So when there is no lower frequency of vibration, um, there is nothing that can penetrate it. So uh, this, this energy, there's nothing that can, even the lower frequencies can't penetrate it because she is connecting with the ships of light, with her Ecturians. She is a Blu-ray being. She is from another source. So she knows that if someone has a lower vibration, that um, it, it, it just bounces off her shield. It just bounces off the light. And the light is just blowing it away. So she, there is no way that any lower frequency can uh, come into her space because she knows how to nurture herself. She knows how to uh, lit herself up. Um, she knows that uh, the joyfulness that she's carrying within her is be guarded and that is uh, is is um, uh, protected. So then the flow of creation is just there when she is connected with source. Okay, and that gives her, um, yeah, gives her wings, gives her wings. She knows that if um, if she keeps connected with creation and with source and with Mother Earth, that um, nothing uh, but uh, nothing will stop her. Even the lower frequencies can reach her anymore because she went through the portals. Um, how does the how does the Divine Feminine sees the Divine Masculine in union? Divine Cosmic Mother Womb. That you are loved, that you are safe. You need to rest and sleep well. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. The Mother, Divine Mother, the Divine Feminine is giving the Divine Masculine the safety, the rest, and that he can sleep well. So she's giving him the codes. She is um, surrounding him with the nurturing, um, with the nurturing love that he needs at the moment. Wow, beautiful. She's taking him in. Um, in her energy, in her fields, in her heart, in her, um, in her, in her surroundings, in her vortex, I hear. She takes him there. And then he is, he knows that he's loved and that he's safe there. There is, um, Yeah, safe and guarded and shielded by her. So know that you're safe and know that you needs to rest and that you can sleep well because she, she holds space. She is there for him. Um, she's connected with him. And um, because of that connection, she knows exactly where... Um, what's happening to him so she can hold space for it. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. That's a beautiful, beautiful energy when, when, the, when they are in union. So he, and there's joy because I see the dolphins again, you know. Really beautiful, really beautiful. Let's see what's, the other cards have to say. And let's see what the other cards have to say.
for both of them. One card for both of them. One card for both of them. One card for both of them. There's always coming so much information from these cards. That's really, really amazing. For the masculine. Oh, flyers. For the feminine and for what brings them back in union. Okay. Gosh, it's not that I can shuffle, but it's spirits flying out all the cards. One card for the Divine Feminine, please. Thank you. And what? Oh, two cards. No, we'll take one. One card for both of them. Okay. Let's see. For both of them, appreciate this. Appreciate this moment. Every situation is an opportunity to grow and find love. Every opportunity is an uh, every situation is an opportunity to grow and find the love. So in every situation, uh, how you think about yourself or how you think about someone else, you know. Um, if you go to, if you want to grow, uh, out from that situation, the only thing you need is love. You know, you're, you're not, uh, going into this, um, um, mind space that gives you all the opportunities to um, <laughs> create and to sabotage everything uh, what you think. You know, it's like um, the mind make up everything that's not true. You know, uh, it makes up assumptions, it criticizes, it's um, being critical of someone. Um, maybe you think, oh, someone is not... Uh, it's not growing fast, fast enough, or that person is not growing, and I'm grow outgrowing that person. Then you're just in that that mind space, you know. If if you go to love, you know, love will solve everything, you know. Then then you're disconnected from your heart. You're disconnected from uh, from source. You know, because source will tell you what what it is, um, what can change. Love can change everything. You know, um, yeah, yeah. Every every situation is a choice to grow or not. If you don't want to grow, you're in your mind space. You're not in your love space. Okay. That's for both of them. So appreciate this moment. And when you are together in that moment, it's just to, the opportunity to grow to love. Okay. You may not always understand why certain things happen. However, it's always the higher purpose to the events in your life through turmoil a blessing will soon to be revealed. That's for both of them. You know, for the Divine Masculine and the Divine Feminine. 
You may not always understand why certain things happen. However, it's always the higher purpose for the events in your life. Through turmoil, a blessing will soon be revealed. So you never know why things happening in your life. If you just remember, it's for the highest good for you. It's always for you. It's never against you. It's, it's giving you the opportunity to grow. And it's the number 33. It's the master, master number, you know. It's, um, it's always an opportunity to grow. And it's 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 the it's the the trust and the perseverance and the knowing that will pull you through everything, and really everything. Um, it's the trust that that will will raise your vibration also. Okay. For the Divine Masculine, criticizing one another will only lead to further unhappiness. Love and acceptance, love and accept each other as you are, and your relationship will magically transform. Criticizing one another will only lead to further unhappiness. That's the, that's the mind, you know. The mind criticizes, the mind has... Uh, a meaning gives a meaning to everything you know and um and when the divine feminine uh, feels criticized by the divine masculine uh she is out because she's coming from that heart space and she is no need to be criticized by someone else as she is her own cr uh, critic you know um that's that's even more uh, severe than the critics of someone else. So um, the divine masculine, and that's what I see in a, in a lot of masculines, um, you know, but more in the lower frequencies, they're criticizing everything. How someone eats, how someone behaves, how someone uh, reacts on things. It's only criticizing, criticizing, criticizing. And uh, I think that if those um, masculines want to grow and find the real love in their life, then, um, uh, then they need to go to their heart space. They need to open their heart because the crit criticizing uh, anyone is, 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 and judgment is the... It is just everything that destroys a relationship, you know, it destroys everything. And they know, and, and, and the funny part is the divine feminine knows that the divine masculine knows and that he is doing it and she is not giving any reaction on it. <laughs> oh my God, that's really clever. That's really clever because the divine feminine knows that it has more to say about the masculine than about herself. Okay. That's, that's really beautiful. And, and that's, that's going within, also within themselves, you know. Beautiful. Listen to your hearts. You are listening, but need to hear with a loving heart. So, this is amazing together. Because you're criticizing from your mind. Because someone is not, re not, not acting the way you want them to, re to react or to be. And you're criticizing them. And that gives you separation. Okay. But when you listen to your heart. You are listening. But you need to hear it. With a loving heart. You can listen to, to, the, to the divine feminine. But you need to listen with your heart. Not with your mind. 
and then everything starts to um, dissolve. It's like she's holding a seashell to her ear and she lets her hear the ocean. And when she connects with the ocean, she feels it in her heart space. And that's when she can feel the sensations, that she can hear it and that she can smell it. And, and that's when you are connecting with your heart space, okay? Not from the mind space. Um, even jealousy is something like that, right? If you're reacting out of jealousy, if you're reacting out of, you know, uh, that person has everything and I don't have anything, that's, that's also criticizing yourself and setting yourself up for more lack in your life. Okay, for the Divine Feminine. Let there be closeness between you, but always give each other space. Love never claims, it simply allows and gives. So that's maybe um, what the Divine Feminine, maybe a le lesson for the Divine Feminine is let there be closeness between you, but always give each other space. Love will never claim, it simply allows and gives. And that's what the Divine Feminine knows already in her heart space. Uh, it could be that, you know, um, the, the, the masculine needs more space for himself uh, to rest, to... Um, to recuperate, to do the things uh, that he wants to do. And when you give him that space and when you give him that, um, um, you never claim someone, you know, you can invite someone, but you never claim, you know, you can't claim um, your divine masculine to be with you or uh, to stay with you or whatever. You know, that will, will hurt your relationship. Because then you get the feeling, uh, and, and especially the fine masculine, get the feeling they get uh, chained. And, and that's, not the, that's not the energy you want to give to the divine masculine. Okay. Divine Feminine, embrace your emotions. Allow your feelings to surface and be accepted. So it could be that the Divine Feminine is going through a lot of emotions at the moment. And she just let, let it happen, let it come to the surface, allow it, feel it and uh, work through it. The more you work with your emotions, the quicker it disappears out of your system. You know, if uh, I know a lot of women already did the work. A lot, and, and a lot of women did already the work and the emotions are coming up. She moves through it, she feels it and uh, she let it transmute through her heart space by love. And that's, that's the quickest way to, um, to move through emotions. So it, it, it doesn't take a long time uh, to transform those emotions. Then I say, step on your magical unicorn and, uh, and, and fly away. You know, it gives you, it gives you wings when, when you transmute it through these energies because it's not stuck in your system. Oh, that's, uh, yeah, beautiful. So what brings them together? Um, forgiveness. Oh, let's start with this one. Beware of what you are projecting. For the qualities you admire in one another are the qualities you both possess. Equally so, the qualities you don't like are also uh, your own reflection. So uh, what you see in the other is mirroring within you. 
So what you see about the other, that is what is also in your system, you know, or was in your system and you recognize that. So be gentle and be um, open and lean about it. Okay. That's for Divine Masculine. And that will bring them, that will bring them in union, you know. Because they recognize each other on a soul level, uh, on a mental level. It could be that they had the similar background. And, um, and that will bring them together. So, the other card is forgiveness. Nothing is gained by holding on to the past disappointments. Nothing will happen or nothing will be gained by holding on to the past disappointments. Because if you hold on to the past disappointments and you don't forgive uh, the other person or you forgive yourself about uh, the things, it's an opportunity to grow and it's an opportunity to grow, to grow together. Um, and... You know, you, you will never gain anything, you know, if you're holding on to uh, the past disappointments, the past grief, the past... Because the next person in your life, um, you will recognize soon enough from your heart space if it's, um, if it's uh, the right person or not. You, you will recognize the red flags, but that person is not... The past is not the someone from the past, so you can't project the past energies on someone else because it's not that person, right? Then you have to go within and see what you need to dissolve on your own um, to get rid of those feelings. And then forgiveness is coming in because you need to forgive yourself that you are projecting or you need to forget, forgive yourself um, uh, that, that, you, that you walked away or uh, you need to forgive yourself um, that you didn't see the things clearly at that moment. And you have to forgive yourself, you know... Um, yeah, sometimes that you destroy something, you know, and that that is that you need to forgive yourself because the next person that you will meet will not be the same as, you know, as the past person. So it, it's, it's really difficult um, to blame someone else for someone else's mistakes, you know, and then it's. It's, it's a trigger that comes up to be, be resolved within yourself and, and really not going, uh, coming from the mind space, but coming from the heart space, you know, and saying, okay, I need to do some work uh, on this and I need to understand that other person better, but I need to understand it from my heart. Not for my logical mind, but for my heart space. Because then there could be that there is still a wound in the heart that needs to be healed. Okay? So, and that's, that's how you grow together, you know? Not being critical or criticizing each other. But um, to come from heart and, and to, you know... Get rid of the get the guest lighting. That's what I hear. Get rid of the guest lighting. Get rid of the manipulation. Get rid of always want to be right. Get rid of always blaming other people. Get rid of all these things of judgment. Because it's structurally destroying you. So... Uh, when you when you're coming from your love and from your heart space and being in the now, you're always, always good. Well, people, this was it was the reading for this week. It was a beautiful reading. It's really really amazing. 
um, how these portals are working for us and that we are uh, ready to evolve and ready to let go of old toxic and old paradigm um, um, conditionings, programs, uh, going beyond the labels, you know, everything. It's such a beautiful time um, to, to do this. And I, I bless you all and I see you hopefully next week for the New Year's reading. And um, have beautiful times, have a beautiful Yule time, have a beautiful Christmas and have a blessed and happy 2022. Bye bye.